Here comes Annie. She thinks I got something. I don't. Bill threw some cane out to them. But she used the hollers like that and then the horses come around. I'm sorry, Annie. I better get her something. She come all this way over. I know. He was oh, around, look he, at him. Yeah, he was around here with me a while ago. I was watering them tomatoes and it was pine cone. He stepped on pine cone. He thought it was a snake and he jumped. And I jumped. <laughs> He's got a snake in his head now. He does. Okay. Oh no. I should have set the water off. Oh, water roses. Just like a kid playing in water. We need to take him for a walk before he goes yep. in the house. Yeah, let's take him out front. Maybe he'll roll in the grass. I gotta walk around there. My hole. <laughs> We're looking for the guineas' eggs. They got them stashed out here. And Bill found them. Yep. That's where they're laying, right there. And they, they're not doing steady. The eggs are getting cold at night. You know, I, one hand's trying to sit on them. Here, let me help some of them. And you want to get them all? Yeah, I want to get them out of there. If she was sitting on fresh eggs, it'd now, be some different. Of them are real life, you know, yeah. yeah. She won't stay on the nest. Bill is going to work on this freezer bed and make it like a table up higher. And I'm glad to get that. That uh, raised up. That way they'll have an open area. And the shade cloth will protect it. I made me a, a gate through here. So that it keeps the dogs out of these beds. And them crates are really handy to have. And I'll show you some more. I put one right through here. We got a rat trap over here. And uh... So the dogs want to go in there and eat what we got in there. So this morning I blocked it. And I put up a uh, smaller fence on this uh, hog uh, fence. Because uh, the small dogs could get through there. So he had that trap out there in the driveway. And with it shut, something got in there and ate the... Uh, food we had we think it's that weasel that he can squeeze through there because he's small So Bill brought this one around here for me to catch a rat and we got one smaller one For that weasel that I don't think he can get through it, but he did with that shut he got through it and ate the food so uh, Hope I can catch that rat because uh, This little cage I had over here something got in there and ate it and, and didn't trip it so we're hoping we'll catch some critters and uh, see that rat. I'm sure it's over here because its home was up there and it, he likes this area or she. So we're, we're trying to catch him. There's the culprits that's been laying the eggs in the can. Yeah. Y'all are guilty hiding your eggs. You are. That's the boy one right there. Yeah, you the boy. He's trying to get him away from the gate so he can go through there with the wheelbarrow. Bill made it where this slides. I love it. It comes out pretty easy. Uh huh. And, and that way I can just take my water hose and water it through there. I'll slide it back. Oh, that should protect them real good. 
I appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah, I like it. I like it slide back so the, the back side gets protected from the sun. Yeah. Up. Oh, stay nice and cool in there. Oh, there it is. That's yeah. even better. I thought it would slide all the way back, mm -hmm. back to the fence. But not they won't get sunburned no more. No. And that gives them a good breezeway. It does. Pollination. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Okay. I love it. I'll have to... You take this off in the winter time. I'll have to make up a, a screen to you let chickens out in here. Yeah, and when I want to grow lettuce, and there's our glass for the top, but he needs a screen on it for daytime so the chickens won't hop in there and eat my lettuce. Well, a chicken wire screen. Yeah. Okay. Well, looks great. Well, it's getting hot out here. It is. This is what that our gate looks like on the this front side. Um. Well ago that was in full sun. It's getting shade now, but it was pretty hot. And uh, <clears throat> I have a, a bowl right here where I tried to grow plants, but it's too hot. So one day we found this Christmas tree thrown away, and we brought it home, and I put it there for kind of like a windbreak and decoration. Since it's too hot to grow anything there, I uh, got a fake tree. <laughs> But anyway, I love that gate and that netting. It turned out great. So thanks for watching from Out West Homestead. Bye.